Hi students, uh, this is Satish Kumar. Today I'm presenting the 12th video lecture on uh, microwave waveguides. In the last lecture, we have seen the expression for the cutoff frequency. We have calculated the expression for the cutoff frequency. Uh, now, by using that, we are going to find out the different transverse magnetic mode of analysis. That is different transverse magnetic modes that will be existing in the rectangular waveguides. So that means for the transverse magnetic mode, we have the different mode numbers Mn, Tm, Mn, that M is the half power mode variation in the direction of x and N is the half power mode variation in the direction of y. These m and n, small m and n, will be having different numbers like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, like that. And in that, uh, from that to almost uh, 9, 9, okay. Uh, so, which modes will be existing? Okay. So, for that, what we have to do is we have got already the expression for the ez, which is actually the solution for uh, solution in the transverse magnetic mode of analysis which is that c into constant sine of m pi by a into x into sine of n pi by b into y into this e power minus gamma z and e power j omega t which is a time variation okay so this is common for all the uh, remaining four components also okay once we get this ez we already know that for the transverse magnetic mode of analysis hz is zero hz will be zero so now the remaining components will be ex ey hx hy so in in the previous lecture we have already calculated ex ey hx hy in terms of ez and hz and after that we will substitute hz equal to 0 in that so we will have only ez and this ez expression if we substitute in those expressions of uh, ex ey hx and hy we will get all these uh, second third fourth and fifth equations see if you really want to prove which mode will be existing for this transverse magnetic mode of analysis you should definitely remember all these five components or at least if you can remember ez by remembering the expressions of ex ey hx hy what i told you uh, one simple uh, simple way to remember these uh, four components in terms of ez and hz if you just follow that and substitute this ez you will be definitely getting here this sine component should be differentiated you will be getting cos here for ex term okay that sine term will be differentiated and along with that there will be m pi by a for ey you have to differentiate the cos i mean sine of n pi by b term you will be getting n pi by b for hx similarly this cos will be sine will be differentiated that is n pi by b will be differentiated here you will be getting n pi by b and in hy okay your sign m pi by a into x will be differentiated and what you will be getting is m pi by a term so here if you observe m is outside of the expression which is not in either sign or cos here also ey n is outside just try to observe hx n is outside and for hy m is outside okay now if you try to see which mode of tm mode of analysis will be existing we'll try to see first okay first tm zero zero mode okay the general way of defining the transverse magnetic mode will be tm mn okay so here i'll be taking tm zero zero what this indicates is in place of m what will have is 0, 0 and in place of n what will have is also 0. That means for Tm 0, 0 mode to exist the minimum condition that we should have is Ez, Hx, Hy, Ex, Ey out of these five expressions at least one should be non-zero at least one should be non-zero already we know that hz is zero for transverse magnetic mode of analysis 
if all these five terms zero then this particular mode will not exist if at least one component of this is not equal to zero then we can say this particular mode will exist let us check whether ez will be existing or not if you substitute this m equal to zero and n equal to zero in the previous expressions what will be having is if you put in m equal to zero and n equal to zero sign of zero zero whatever are the other terms you will simply get it as zero that means ez will be simply equal to zero next check with ex ex m equal to zero and n equal to zero okay this is your ex expression if you put m equal to zero here this entire expression is going to become zero irrespective of other components whether they are existing or not simply ex component will be zero so i'll be writing ex is also zero then ey whether this ey is existing or not for m equal to zero and n equal to zero let us check with that also for ey there will be a component n which is outside so obviously as n is zero the ey component will be zero ey component will be zero similarly hx hx equal to again check with m equal to zero and n equal to zero in this hx we have n is outside which is zero the overall term is going to become zero that is hx is zero then hy hy will also become zero because there is a term m which is outside of this so zero into whole thing is zero that means all five components along with hz which is already zero that means all six components will become zero so we can say tm00 will not exist that means this mode will not propagate that is what is the meaning of this this mode will not be propagating through the rectangular waveguide now let us go for another wave another mode in the transverse magnetic which is 0 1 if you compare it with the original expression so here m is 0 and n is 1 okay so what happens to ez what happens to ez when m is 0 let us check only with this m equal to 0 and try to see about remaining all uh, components when m is 0 let's see what happens here when m is 0 here this will become 0 sin 0 is 0 0 into whole thing is ez is 0 i'll be writing that ez is 0 next ex next ex let us check when m equal to 0 what happens to ex as m is 0 this old term will become 0 okay so ex is also 0 next ey m is 0 what happens to ey when m is 0 sin m he is here so this sin 0 is 0 0 into whole thing is 0 similarly hx hx as hx is 0 sorry hx uh, when m is 0 what happens to hx so sin m is there so sin 0 0 into whole thing is 0 so it's very clear that hx is also 0 similarly what we'll be getting is if you observe hy their uh, m is outside so this is 0 0 into whole thing is 0 so hy is also 0 and already we know that hz is 0 again all six components will be 0 so we can say tm01 also will not exist if at least one component is non zero then we can say that particular mode will exist but here all the components have become zero so there is no question of uh, that tm01 to exist now third mode tm10 if you compare this tm10 with uh, tm mn so here of course m is 1 and n is 0 okay again what is going to happen as we already know that hz is 0 hz is 0 what happens to ez okay ez if you want to know when n is 0 okay here sine of n which is absolutely going to become 0 because sine 0 that 0 into whole thing 
will be zero. So EZ will be zero. Next EX will be what? EY, HX and uh, HX and HY. Okay, what happens to all these terms? We'll see at a time. So when n is zero, let us check with all four. Okay, when n is zero, here sign n. Okay, when this is zero, ex will become zero. When n is zero, when n is zero, n is outside, ui is also zero. When n is zero, en is outside, hx is also zero. When n is zero, here sign of zero will be zero. So that means all four terms here will absolutely going to become zero, 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 and zero. That means TM10 also will not exist. Will not exist. Now check with another one. After TM00, 0110, then we will have TM11. Just go along, go like your binary numbers but after that tm11 you have to go to tm12131419 then 20212223242 like that up to tm99 you can go for it but let us check with tm11 where m is 1 and n is also 1 what happens to ez if you observe when m is 1 and n is 1 what happens to cos 1 will not be zero because we don't know the value of a you cannot say but it is not zero here when m is one it is pi by a when n is one here it is sine pi by b into y so this is not equal to zero here ey is also even if m is one and n is one nothing will become one because sine of uh, this is one pi by a and cos of one pi by b into y so this is also not not going to become equal to zero and this is also not going to be zero and this is also not going to be zero so for tm11 analysis tm ez is not equal to zero ex is not equal to zero ey is not equal to zero and hx is also not equal to zero as well hy is also not equal to zero except hz which is basically equal to zero but remaining all are not zero that means TM11 will exist. This is the first mode which is existing in transverse magnetic mode of analysis in the rectangular waveguide. Okay. Just because it is the first mode which is existing, you cannot say it is a dominant mode, but we call it it is a dominant mode in the transverse magnetic mode of analysis. So TM11 is also called as a dominant mode. We'll try to discuss this in the next class. Dominant mode. Okay, why this is called dominant mode and how it is related with the expression of cutoff frequency, we'll try to see in the next class. Okay, in the similar way, we can also able to find out what will be the first mode which is existing in transverse electric mode of analysis. That we'll see in the next class. And uh, if you like my video lectures, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.